Hey everyone on YouTube, it's Sean again, um, recovering from my Achilles tendon surgery and the world is kind of up in arms when it comes to the coronavirus, not knowing exactly what the future has in store. Um, so where, where do we find peace, where do we find hope and comfort um, when maybe bad things are happening? That's one of the things I want to share today, really the main thing I want to share in this quick little video. I got to get going. So the church where I worship, New Life Christian Church, we're going to be going through the book of Habakkuk, this Old Testament book. This guy Habakkuk comes from God, gives this message to the people of Israel saying, hey, hey, God's still in control, even in the midst of bad situations, like they were in a terrible situation with enemies coming and um, just bad things from famines to sickness and all this bad stuff was happening. And God says to Habakkuk, hey, I am still in control um, and you can trust me. Um, and he was helping them see some things that, uh, well, they needed to see because spiritually they were far from God. They were not putting their hope and trust where it should have been. But this was an opportunity for God to open up their eyes to that. And Habakkuk 2, verse 18 says this, Of what value is an idol, since a man has carved it, or an image that teaches lies? For he who makes it trusts in his own creation. Yes, in that day and age, many of the Israelites, God's chosen people, had chosen not to worship God, but to worship man-made things, pieces of wood that they carved to, to bear the image of another God, of an idol. They would bow down to these things, and God's saying, hey, why are you bowing down to this stupid piece of wood? Open your eyes. See it. And some of us, we can kind of look back on those times and be like, oh, those primitive people, I can't believe they did that. And yet, I think if we're honest with ourselves, we can identify with these people and understand that we oftentimes make idols out of very simple, ordinary things in our own lives. One of my favorite authors is Tim Cowan. He helped, he's helped me understand that idols are oftentimes good things that we make ultimate things. And when a good thing becomes an ultimate thing, it becomes a destructive thing. He, he's challenging me to think. So you want to identify the idols in your life? Think, of, think about the things you worry about constantly. He says, if there's one thing that you, if you just lost it, it would devastate you. You would lose your will to live. That thing is probably, probably an idol. And so maybe it's a significant other that you get all worried about. Yeah, you know, are things going to work out? Or maybe it's your job. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe it's your relationship with your spouse that you're taking this good thing. And you think it, you need it in order for you to be healthy, in order for you to be fulfilled, in order for you to have any hope or security in this life. That thing is becoming an idol in your life and you are worshiping it and it cannot sustain you. It cannot give you the answers, the hope, the peace that you need from it. And so God is reminding us through the book of Habakkuk, hey, be careful about what you worship because I've created you to worship, God says. You need it, but you'll only be satisfied. Your heart will only be satisfied. You only have peace and security when you worship me. You seek me first and foremost and then and then all the other things, the good things in life, your jobs, your relationships, man, then they'll have true meaning and purpose when they kind of fall in the right place and priority in your life.